Good evening. The chaser love nothing more than to laugh at other people's expense, but once again they missed the mark. Desperate to finish the year with a bang, they trespassed with cameras rolling onto our studios here at Channel 7, hoping to catch me out. All day they've been telling anyone who'll listen that I invited them in. That's simply not true. They plan to use the footage in a segment called What I Learned About Current Affairs. Well, this is what they learned. Brian Seymour reports. 2.30 yesterday afternoon, a Channel 7 staff member presses the security button and walks out the back door. It's the moment the chaser have been waiting for. They strike. One stands in the doorway to keep it open and calls the rest of the crew to rush in. Chaz Licciardello, Andrew Hansen, along with an actor, two camera operators and a sound man all scurry in. They came to ambush Hannah Corrin, who'd arrived back in the office just minutes ago. They knew exactly where to go, but then suddenly the chaser became the chased. Can I help you? I'm wearing the tapes. Yeah, Hannah, Andrew, jump on the phone, mate. Okay. Give us the tape, Andrew. Give us the tape. Give us the tape. We're yeah, funny. Not, they just got, they just got the advice from the lawyers via Andy. Why are you so angry for? Okay, um, I just, uh, just spoke to Andy via our lawyers, and our lawyers said that their opinion is that the tapes are our property and that we don't have to hand them over and that okay. we should just leave. You can't detain us, so we'll leave now. You're on private no, property. Well, well she'll go anywhere. Without permission, you didn't have permission to film. Only because you're attacking one of our staff. Well, no, hang on, hang on. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. If I'm being attacked by a crazy person, you want that on camera. If you're being attacked, you know what's going on. All right. Shut up. No, we'll sort it out. I'm happy to wait for the police or the lawyers or whoever. Let's just sort this out. Half an hour gone. By now, the whole Today Tonight team had gathered around. The Chaser boys were sweating and frantically calling their lawyers and wanting to meet ours. How did you get in here? How did you get in through the door? Walked in. We walked in through the front door. The back door. With, what, out so, at, uh, at the back entrance through the little kitchenette there. Waiting for, an an waiting for someone to open. So you waited for the door to open and snuck in. You just walked into the back door. But is that what you did in the It hasn't been established what's happened here. All I'm saying. Well, no, it is, mate. You no. told me you walked in the back door. That's it's trespassing. Done. You know that, Look, mate. If, if, if I'm sitting at home. I thought you weren't a lawyer, And you walk in my back door. Brian, I thought you weren't a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, mate. You, we don't need to be lawyers to know the law of trespassing. No one invited you guys in. No one invited you guys in. You just walked in. On our office. Where we work. All we know is that when we get legal advice we can do something, we do it. And when we don't get legal advice, no, we don't. But you didn't get legal advice before you came in here. You're saying you don't know if you trespassed today when you walked no, into Channel 7. We will find you, you out. You had no idea. We will find out that, very no, soon. No, but is that what you're saying? Brian, I'm not saying anything to you. I'm saying to, our, to the lawyers. Whatever the lawyers say. But you say you act on legal advice. So I'm if saying you have I'm legal advice, that you're allowed back, to come in. The lawyers come back now. But you came say, in before you spoke to the lawyers. Brian, if the Why lawyer, did you do that? Brian, if the lawyers come back, and they say that what we did was wrong and we should hand over the tapes, then we will. But why did you just said to me a moment ago, we act on legal advice. You yes, came into Channel 7 that's what I'm we'll without legal lawyers. advice. We'll can listen you, to the lawyers. Make, can you make that guarantee to every other company you trespass on? What's, what's that? That if the lawyers come back and sit and come come back and say you have to you are trespassing, that you will hand all the tapes, all those clad, other shops and all I, those other I make an ironclad guarantee. <clears throat> if the lawyers say to us you yes. have to hand the tapes over and you should hand the tapes over under the law, we always will. Cool. How many times has that happened? I don't know. <laughs> Never. You'd think Chaz would know that. He's a former law student and he does like saying the word lawyers. I'm just waiting to see what the lawyers have to say. What the lawyers say is what we do and every and single is, time. Well, let's see what the lawyers have to say. Yeah. Brian, the lawyers do tell us what the lawyers tell us exactly what they do. Did the lawyers tell you to trespass you today? Brian, I just, I just want to get it right. We're waiting to hear what the lawyers have to say. I'm not a lawyer. Let's see what the lawyers have to say. Or wait for legal advice and then do what they say. Okay. Because we always follow the lawyer's advice. Let's let the lawyers judge that one. If the lawyers say you we've broken the law, let's see what the lawyers have to say about it. Because we're waiting for the lawyers. I don't know what the lawyers' ruling is yet. Mm -hmm. Do you what the lawyers are saying? Let's see what the lawyers have to say. Let's just wait and see what the lawyers have to say. Brian, if the lawyers come back, I thought you weren't a lawyer. And you walk in my back. Brian, I thought you weren't a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, I thought you weren't a lawyer. Brian, I thought you weren't a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, mate. Brian, I thought you weren't a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, mate. Today, the chaser have been trying to turn this back on us, saying they only did what we do all the time. But that's not true. Recently, the trespass laws were tightened up after a reporter on another program impersonated someone and illegally trespassed. The chaser boys seem to think that's okay. Why does it matter? Imagine 
walking into your neighbour's house, wandering around, filming them in the bathroom. When the police show up and arrest you, you can simply claim the chaser defence. No, lawyers we don't, don't even know we have trespassed. Oh. We're, 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 we're still waiting for legal advice, Brian. You've trespassed. You don't you don't know advice, you've trespassed. Brian, look, look, look in the lens and say again, you don't, you don't know if you've trespassed. Brian, I'm going to look straight down the lens and I'm going to say that we always follow <laughs> legal advice on the chaser. Yeah. And the legal advice was well, to trespass here shot. today? Well, that would be that would be very strange legal no, advice. It would be bad so, legal so you advice. didn't get legal advice? No, about no. What I'm saying, today. what I'm saying is, we got legal advice on what we could do. Despite the bravado and heroics, the chaser is waging a war on everything except themselves. Today, they publicly said they'd wandered around Channel Seven as though they stumbled across the Today Tonight office. The pictures prove they are lying. They made a beeline to their target. Tempers frayed, but the only sparring was verbal. Although I did get spat on. The thing is, the thing is, every single time. Sorry, mate. I won't charge you. Just that was intentional. I didn't even have to go down the Far from feeling threatened, the lads look to be enjoying themselves. What are you doing here, Claire? Is there a proper reporter? OK. I've never watched TV, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these guys are from The Chaser? Yeah, yeah. Are they really? The oh. For me, if I hurt somebody's feelings, I feel terrible. I don't, I don't do comedy to do that. You know, I got into comedy to try and bring some joy and happiness into people's lives. If somebody's feelings get hurt... That's bad music. Stan Zamanik was a racist jock, a fatso xenophobic... Whose views were more malignant than his brain. I get it now. I get it now. You ask and you believe. Then I appeared, the bike, the big smile on my face, and then they said... And then you received the bike from the old pedophile. That's me. Bloody hell. Are you a pedophile? No! Can you understand why some people here today are a bit angry that you've walked in the back door and, and done this stunt here in I the office? I cannot understand why they are this angry now. Why not? Because we have just made a harmless joke. What, why do you think we've just made a harmless upset, joke about mate? an overactor in a reenactment? Sure. It's well, not exactly I cutting know. to the quick of today tonight. I know, and I might find it funny. Yeah. What I'm saying to you is. Like, do you understand know what we just did? Yeah, sure, sure. What we just did was made fun of an overactor in a reenactment. Yes, you That's did. what we just did. We, we get it. We get it. Okay, we didn't go, we didn't say, this is the worst show of all time. We didn't. No, I know. What, I what know. we did was I made know. fun of an overactor. I know. I wish we could get Hugh Jackman for our uh, reenactments, but you yeah. know, <laughs> he's, he's out of our price range. Okay. Fair Actually, right. that guy wasn't bad. We'll get yeah, your details. You should, you should hire him. You should hire him straight away. But in the meantime, can you understand why some people here are upset? that you've done barged in here and done this. I can't understand why people are acting this seriously now. If you walked into Sorry. our office mm -hmm. yeah. and you and you Start filmed film. us, yeah. we wouldn't be angry. No, okay, you I promise be, you, you we wouldn't, wouldn't be, be angry. Calm down, everyone. I, Calm down. I swear to God, Can you understand? I swear to God, I wouldn't be angry. After a fake motorcade and a fake beard got them into real trouble, today it was the chaser being chased. Well, did, did you endanger anybody? No. You sure? Did the team go too far yesterday? I only answer questions about Clive, the slightly too loud commuter. Okay. 